So I wanted to make a quick video about golfer's elbow. I've had a string of patients come in who are actually tennis players and they're coming in complaining of golfer's elbow. Golfer's elbow is also known as medial epicondylitis, whereas tennis elbow, and that's on the medial side of the elbow, whereas tennis elbow is lateral epicondylitis, that'd be on the outside part of the elbow. With medial epicondylitis, a lot of tennis players get it uh, mostly because of the way they're serving. So when you're going up for a serve and you're, you have that heavy pronation, this movement there, when you're finishing that serve, that pronation, that's, that's, that movement causes a lot of strain on the inside part of the elbow. And a lot of that is because of the pronator teres muscle. So when you're dealing with medial epicondylitis, what you want to focus on are the muscles that attach to the medial epicondyle right here, which is the common flexor tendon, um, the flexor carp carpi ulnaris muscle, which is going down this way, and then also the pronator teres muscle, which is coming off this way. And these muscles are all anchoring off this point on this bone right here on the humerus, the medial epicondyle. If there's too much tension in here, um, or too much scar tissue buildup from years of racket sports and serving and pronation and things like that, um, there'll be too much strain on this anchor point here and you're going to start to get a, a cumulative effect of inflammation on the medial epicondyle. What you want to do to treat this is you need to stretch the muscles out here that attach to the medial epicondyle. Um, and the problem is it's not easy to do on yourself. One of the things you could try is to take a lacrosse ball and get in there and go get against the wall and get into a good position. Um, and try to really mash these muscles up, just roll back and forth while you also give it a good, you know, roll it and then stretch it for a while. Go back and roll it again and then stretch it for a while. See if you can loosen these muscles up. Um, if you can't do it yourself, if you don't have the leverage, you can go to somebody like myself who, um, who does active release techniques. We can get in there and by hand, we can manually break up specifically low pockets of scar tissue um, in the flexor muscles, the flexor tendon, or the pronator teres muscle. Uh, we relieve a lot of that stress by uh, reducing adhesions, making the muscles more flexible. Uh, and then when you're playing those racket sports, there's less strain on that medial epicondyle and that medial epicondylitis responds pretty quickly uh, to active release techniques. So hope, hope that helps with uh, golfer's elbow, also known as medial epicondylitis.